The Lockheed Martin State Route 71 Blackbird, or, as its air crew members have dubbed it, the Habu, after a pit viper indigenous to Japan, is, without a doubt, one of the most legendary and iconic military aircraft of all time, by simple virtue of the fact that 58 years after its invention and 23 years after its official retirement, retired by the US Air Force in 1998 and by NASA the following year, it still remains the world's fastest air-breathing aircraft. How fast? Test pilot Jimmy Stum managed to push one to Mach 3.56, or just under 2,400 miles per hour, for approximately 15 seconds whilst in a dive, as noted by retired U.S. Air Force Master Sergeant Jim Goodall, author of the book Lockheed State Route 71 Blackbird. The illustrated history of America's legendary Mach 3 spyplane Jim said he dropped the nose down a bit to see if he could at least reach Mach 3.0. Out of nowhere, Jim hit good air and in the dive with good air he redlined everything. He went into his descent profile and headed back to the test site. The exact date of that accomplishment is unknown, however, it is known that in July 1976, and State Route 71 set not one but two world records, one was an absolute speed record of 2,193.167 mph while the other was an absolute altitude record of 85,068.997 feet. Another impressive feat of the Blackbird transpired on March 7, 1990, when an airframe piloted by then LTE calls Raymond E. Yelding and Joseph T. Avita, both USAF, flew from west coast of the United States to the U.S. east coast, a mind-blowing 2,404 miles in 68,17. To provide the reader with even further appreciation for the SR-71 speed, its sustained airspeeds of Mach 3.2 ensured that even the Soviet Union's much-feared MiG-25, NATO reporting named Foxbat, the world's fastest interceptor, could not catch it even at its own impressive airspeed of 2.8 plus Mach, on paper the MiG-25 could attain a maximum speed of 3.2 Mach, but in reality, this would entail the destruction of the plane's engines. As an interesting side note, much of the aura of fear and mystery surrounding the MiG-25 originally designed to counter the Mach 3 XB-70 Valkyrie bomber was dissipated after the defection of Foxbat pilot Lt. Viktor Belenko from the Soviet Union to the United States via Japan in 1976. Belenko's story is told in detail in John Barron's excellent 1983 book MiG Pilot, The Final Escape of Lt. Belenko, which is now out of print but readily available via used booksellers online. The Blackbird's legendary status is further cemented by the fact that it has never been shot down, whether by enemy fighter planes, surface-to-air missiles, SAMs, or AAA fire, America's other most famous and venerable spy plane, the U-2, cannot make the same boast, as Francis Gary Powers could ruefully attest, although ironically a fighter plane belonging to a friendly nation, namely Sweden's Sobbigen, actually came close in 1986, even obtaining missile lock and visual contact, via a head on game of chicken like approach since a tail chase would have been for naught the state route 71 traces its roots to lockheed's famed skunk works division which also designed the p-38 lightning flown during world war ii by major richard dick bong america's all-time highest scoring air ace the p-80 shooting star the first jet fighter used operationally by the united states army air forces during world war ii the f-117 nighthawk and the f-22 raptor American aerospace engineer Clarence Kelly Johnson designed the airframe's features, based heavily upon a previous Skunk Works Black project, the A-12 reconnaissance aircraft. Equipped with reconnaissance mission features such as signals intelligence sensors, side-looking airborne radar, and a camera, the State Route 71 made its first flight on December 22, 1964 and officially entered into service in January 1966. A total of 32 aircraft were built, and although, as previously noted, none were ever lost to enemy action, 12 were lost in accidents, out of these 12 aircraft losses, only one fatality occurred, that being reconnaissance system officer, Jim Zweyer, who lost his life during a Madeir breakup incident stemming from a severe case of engine unstart on January 25, 1966. During its 58 years of official service, which included an initial retirement in 1988 and an unretirement in 1994 before the aforementioned final retirement of 1998 to 1999, SR-71s flew missions over the hostile skies of North Vietnam, North Korea, Libya, Cuba, and Nicaragua, as well as sorties flown off the borders of East Germany, Poland, and the USSR, including the latter nation's submarine ports. 
The final retirement of the Blackbird has left a bit of a gap in the USA's reconnaissance capabilities due to the inherent limitations of reconnaissance satellites, which take up to 24 hours to arrive in the proper orbit to photograph a particular target, making them slower to respond to demand than reconnaissance planes. The Blackbird's successor is the subject of considerable speculation, ranging from the rumored, and most likely apocryphal, Aurora project to the State Route 72, the latter of which I shall cover in a separate article. Meanwhile, the official story is that the USAF is pursuing the Northrop Grumman RQ-180 U-80 to assume the SR-71 strategic intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance role.